The Middle East is the home of ultimate construction feats, and once again, one of the world's most enthusiastic construction processes is being carried out in the Middle East. Fun fact, this is a project of a railway line which is being built by the Gulf Cooperation Council. The Gulf Cooperation Council comprises six of the wealthiest countries of the Middle East. Together, these countries will cooperate to construct an over 2,000 kilometer long railway line that would add for connecting the region in a better way. With dunes to surmount and mountains to burrow through, the task's difficulties are massive and are coordinated exclusively by the price tag that accompanies handling these difficulties. The rail route can join the Gulf, reshape its transportation area, diminish its carbon imprint, and launch a different period of the monetary turn of events, but for it to be beneficial, it needs to defeat the political, monetary, and strategic difficulties holding it up. Before we get into how the railroad is being assembled, it's vital to comprehend the reason why it's being implicit in the primary spot. On February 1981, in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, pioneers from Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Bahrain, and Oman met to shape political and monetary alliance called the Gulf Cooperation Council, or GCC. Collectively, they've raked in some serious cash off oil and gas. That implies their economies are generally attached to the oil market. Around 2008 to 2009, oil costs dove amid the Great Recession, and the GCC economies endured a shot. In 2009, the GCC approved a massive railway project that would serve the purpose of cultivating everlasting integrity among all the six member states. This project will go on to cost between 100 billion to 250 billion. It has already been talked upon and settled that all six counties will put an equal share into the completion of this project. These railway lines have the potential of changing the outlook of the Middle East, since they will connect the nation's ports with trade and manufacturing zones. Another key element of Etihad Railways is that a 1,200 kilometer long freight and passenger railway will stretch between the Gulf of Oman to the Persian Gulf. This subproject is also not cheap as it will go on to cost around $11 billion. The UAE's first public rail network is being built in two phases. The main stage was finished in 2016 and ranges 264 kilometers from the Habsha and Shah regions in Abu Dhabi to the port of Ruais. It's an extreme workplace because it can get so sweltering in the late spring that some building locations work around evening time when temperatures are more like 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Sand makes for a troublesome moving landscape. Etihad inherited the desert, including China, Saudi Arabia, and Mauritania. Those countries observed arrangements like turning sand ridges to mud over numerous years checking the moving hills, and establishing dividers of vegetation to hinder wind and sand. Etihad's rails train configuration incorporates a sand filtration framework and Sanfuro to assist with alleviating the difficulties of the sands. In stage one, Etihad Rail constructs 20 overbridges, two underbridges, 10 road underpasses, and 18 smaller underpasses for future use. The construction company additionally constructed two industrial facilities, from manufacturing concrete to creating substantial railroad sleepers, produced using privately obtained unrefined components, which structure the foundation of the tracks. Every sleeper is 2.6 meters long and weighs 340 kilograms. They're appended to the principal rails with an affixing framework and are utilized to assist with settling the track and guarantee the train can travel flawlessly as speeds as as much as 200 kilometers per hour for travel trains. Having said that, this first course isn't shipping travelers presently. Rather, it's conveying as much as 22,000 tons of granulated sulfur across 110 carts every day. The component is extracted from the oil fields in Abu Dhabi and handled for sending out at the port of Ruiz, where it proceeds to be utilized to fabrication everywhere from batteries to manures and firecrackers. Etihad Rail has shipped more than 30 million tons of granulated sulfur for the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company as of mid-2021. Etihad says a solitary train venture diminishes carbon dioxide discharges by 70 to 80 percent, contrasting that those excursions were to be made by trucks. This is critical for an economy with one of the greatest carbon impressions on the planet. That productivity has additionally helped make the Emirates the world's top exporter of sulfur getting 679 million two years prior. A lot of that sulfur probably went to China, 
the world's biggest shipper of the component, which additionally turns out to be associated with Stage 2 of the undertaking. Stage 2 of construction began in 2020 and will extend the network 605 kilometers from Guwaifet on the border with Saudi Arabia to Fujairah on the east coast. A 408.4 million agreement put China State Construction Engineering Corporation and South Korea's SK Engineering and Construction responsible for the plan and development of 139 kilometers of the rail line. When complete, the organization will connect the nation's major modern ports and exchange focuses, empowering more than 50 million tons of merchandise to be moved across the organization every year. Indeed, even with progress being made on the Etihad Rail Organization, the GCC Rail Project all in all hasn't generally worked out as expected. GCC nations momentarily impeded Qatar from its association, placing its part in the rail lines project into question. Another aspect brought in by the pandemic along with the appraisal of oil cost have created calculated setbacks, which has delayed the completion of this project by many years. So guys, with that, the video about the $100 billion railway line essentially ends. Do let us know what to you is the most interesting aspect of this video, and how do you foresee this project's completion in the upcoming decade or two in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.